Hello, this is the Graysby 2100 syringe pump. We have 220 of these, and the reason that we've got them is because if we continue with ICU surge very much longer, we're not going to have enough of our normal syringe pumps. Now, these are very basic. They only operate in millilitres per hour, but that's okay because pharmacy have changed the prep guide to make it really clear which drugs that we can give safely with these pumps, and they've made it really easy to do the calculations. So we're going to be using this for, these for low-risk infusions only. So let me show you around the pump. We have a display, and round the back we've got a pole clamp, really simple, and we've got where we attach our power. This doesn't fit into any of our normal docks, which means every pump is going to need a power lead. So we're going to plug that in now, and we're going to turn it on. Here is the on button. It's not obvious, and what you might not realise is you have to hold it for quite a long time to turn the pump on. Now we've turned it on, it's time to load the syringe. It's a little bit different from, um, from our um, normal pumps to load, so watch carefully. Firstly, we have to open this clamp, and we do that by pulling it out and turning it. Secondly, we need to line everything up so that the syringe slides in in one go. So, what we're going to do is we're going to press this button underneath, that releases the plunger. You see it moves freely now? We're going to line it up so that that is exactly lined up with the end of the syringe. And now we're going to push it in all at once. Then we can close the clamp and we're ready to set up. So there are four things that we need to set on the pump. The first is our rate in mils per hour. So let's say we're giving 100 milligrams an hour of propofol at 1%, which means that that is going to be a rate of 10 mils per hour. Mills per hour is highlighted right now, so all we need to do is set 10. And we do that with the arrow keys. We go up to 10, and that's set. The second thing that we can set is volume to be infused, but this is optional. So we press select again, and the display goes from mils per hour to mils. So this is our volume to be infused. And in fact, we're going to leave this as zero because we want the infusion to be continuous. You can set a volume to be infused if you want. The third thing we're going to set, so we're going to press select again, and it says occult. What this means is our occlusion limit. What we recommend is we leave the occlusion limit set to medium, because that's about equivalent to our normal Fresenius pumps. At the moment, it's set to H for high. So we change that with the arrow keys. We can change that to H for high, L for low, or C for medium, obviously. So we're going to leave that on C. The fourth and final thing we need to set, and we're going to do that by pressing select one more time, is the type of syringe. Now this is really important because our normal uh, pumps know exactly what type of syringe that we're using. We have to tell this pump because it can't work it out for itself. And if you get it wrong, it will give the drug at the wrong rate. This is a BD Plastipak syringe, as you know, and the number for a BD Plastipak syringe is 03, and you can look that up on the top of this pump here. So we need to set this to 03, and that's very straightforward. We simply need to use the arrow keys until it says three. We've done all the setting up. All we should do is check that the settings are correct. So we're going to press select to cycle through those four settings again. Mills per hour is 10, which is good. Mills is zero because it's a continuous infusion. Occlusion is C, and our syringe type is three. All we need to do now is press green for go, and our infusion has started, and you can see that it's running now. If we want to give a bolus, it's really straightforward. We have a little sticker here that says hold to bolus, and it's referring to these two buttons. So we're going to hold them down at the same time and watch the display. Watch it count up. And if I release it two mil, we've given a two mil bolus. If I want to see how much I've given in total, all I need to do is hold the total button. And that shows two mil. If I want to see what my volume to be infused was, again, all I need to do is hold the select button and it shows me that it was zero. When our uh, infusion is near empty on a continuous infusion, it will display near empty. But if you give a volume to be infused, it won't alarm when it's near empty, it will only alarm when it is empty. Finally, when we want to finish, we need to press the red button to stop and hold the on off button again until the pump turns off. And then to unload the syringe, it's the reverse of what we did before. We open the clamp and remove the syringe.